Hey, 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 hey. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, or good morning, depending on where in the world you are watching the show. How are we all this week? Oh, well, we're fantastic. We are, except for the rain we have now. Yeah, we've had we've had our first day of rain in in a long time, so that's I know. a shame. I mean, and you've got the sun. Yeah, I, I I was fossil hunting with uh, with my daughter and my wife the other day, and I did catch the sun quite a little. You seen your wife's a fossil? Nope, I was <laughs> fossil hunting with oh. my wife and daughter. I'm just clarifying. I'm here to get anyone. Yeah, into okay, trouble. Rachel, his fault. Okay. Um, how how's your week been or two weeks? Did you enjoy uh, the video last week? I did. Yeah, I liked it actually watching the table arrangements that way. Somebody was asking. Oh, I love watching people work. <laughs> love work. I can watch it for hours. The uh, somebody was asking before: Is there any way of basically being able to split up all the feeds um, so they can concentrate Not yet. to do it? There is actually. What you need is some special like this, and just look like that. <laughs> get a piece yeah. of, get a piece of just card, line it up, and, and go that one, and then move it across to the next one that you want to follow. Uh, I think that's the way forward. Kobe, it's lockdown haircut, dude. What's lockdown <laughs> haircut? It? He really loves your hair. Ah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's it is. Uh, it's it's getting uh, quite long at the moment. It's getting um, especially at the back. Close. Yeah, dearly <laughs> close to having to be cut himself. <laughs> <laughs> My mine was stuck on my eye. What do you think? Just, do you think uh, these are the you, problems we have? Do you think that I should keep it? Should I grow, grow it long like Luke was growing the other day? Did you see that? I did. I think Luke, he's the first he's, person. Luke's on there. Luke is on there. I uh, found my Luke. Rachel look. found it, and she didn't even recognise you at first. She <laughs> thought you were some sort of boy band member or something. It's like the curly brown hair you one had at Barch one year as well. That was good. <laughs> Absolutely. I found the Luke look hat for mine. I found uh, mine. Uh, mine's in my office at home. I uh, often wear it. Just I think we should wear it one home. week. Yeah, I was on a um, w with a Pioneer. I won a, a Zoom meeting and. I just stuck it on the Luke look. for a while. Uh, yeah, because it's the Luke look. We should definitely bring them back. I do. I, think I don't think Luke's posted that picture yet on his uh, Facebook page either, Luke. I know, Maybe Luke. Do I'm disappointed in you. I uh -huh. expected better. So, what have we got on tonight's show, Dom? We have got, well, we've got to talk about the guys that joined in the competition. Yes. Because that was awesome. Well, we've actually got two competition results to announce because we haven't really finished off the quiz properly. No. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. There, so we've got to finish off the quiz, the results from the quiz, and we've also got to do the announcement about the table competition, which I'm sure you guys uh, enjoyed watching all of those videos. Yep, we also had something in the post this week as well. We did. Look, I've got it. It's a pair of scissors. Pair of scissors, not a pair of scissors. It is. It's indeed. my birthday present. It's not. It's my birthday next. It's coming very soon. Oh, so uh, you're saying your you... birthday's before my birthday, which means you're older than me. But shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so um, this is the premium smart sizer, which we're going to open because also this is um, the winner of the table arrangement competition. Does not get ours. They don't get ours. <laughs> they get one um, shipped directly from um, premium balloon accessories uh, to to them. How awesome is that? So uh, we haven't really we we got to play with one a little bit um, down at the Spring Fair, Which but it was a kind of a trade show, and it was uh, I do believe that was the prototype. Yeah, yeah, it, was well, like... it wasn't quite the production model. Yeah, it was um, the... I mean it's fully functional. It was great. I loved it. Yeah. Um, um, we did have a chance to use it that week, and you know what? From that moment, I wanted it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Because the thing is, I was torn. Smart there, there, twist, smart there is sizer. I want the, the uh, Conwin duplicator too, which we've always used, um, and there's been nothing else on the market that's like it. And this is the thing that's been brought out, which is it's basically designed for the retailer. So I think what we're going to do it's is... It's not to exclude the decorator. No, 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 but it's, but it's, it's perfect. Got, yeah. for the, the thing is, is that when you have two nozzles um, inflating helium at the same time, in a retail market, it's less likely to happen, right? Yeah. When you're doing two latex at the same time, um, where this combines everything into one. So we're going to get that open in a minute. There's um, a few things I want to try out on this quite specifically tonight. Well, and if you have any questions, uh, you can please feel free. Anybody um, over there on Facebook that are watching and anybody on YouTube, please feel free to ask us any questions um, 
uh, that any tests that you want us to do on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this open, this bad lad open, because we've been waiting. It has been cleared by customs. One second. All right, yeah, cheers, guys. Because last time we couldn't drink it hot. Yeah. Can we just open it? We've been, I tell you what, we got this delivered to us um, almost a week ago. And we've been desperate to open it, but we thought we would open it together as a team. Because teamwork makes the dream work. If it had been delivered to my house, it would have been opened. <laughs> yes, that's why it was delivered to my house. Okay, so... Uh, At least I'm honest, though. It is. Right, okay, I'm just going to move some things out the way. I'm going to move my keyboard out the way. Oh, it's got serious. My cup of coffee's over there. Me too. Okay, we're good. Okay. So, with the... Si oh, steady, steady. Let's get this... Uh, one second, one second, one second. What, I what, think, what, I what, think, what? Keith. I'm opening it. The, your future's bright. I do, yeah. I really do. I think, I think the future is bright. Is so, uh, let's get this bad boy open. It is now, I'm sending my phone back. <laughs> yeah, um, for anybody that knows, we are really into Apple products. Um, and last November, we decided that we would change and try, because everybody tells us how good Android is. Um, so we thought we would try the Android platform Can out. You try these things for yourself. So we tried. We got the Note 10, uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Wow! Turns out it's, it's not. It's not for it's us. Not for us. Yeah. We're not saying. We're not saying that it's not for everybody. We're one. just saying not for it's us. Not for us. So uh, the new bye Apple bye phone got Samsung. <laughs> Hello iPhone. A new iPhone comes tomorrow. So it's oh, like yeah. Christmas, right? We get to open this. So that's why I was saying. This is why my choice of food. The future is bright. Yes. Okay. So inside I also the box. That oh, oh, inside the box. Oh, oh. Ooh, hello. We get a tube. We've got a canister of gas down behind us as well. It's lying on the floor for safety. Um, and we get a piece of cardboard. And we get some instructions. Premium smart sizer instructions. But we we are um, we are men, so we'll just get rid of them. We don't, we need, don't them. need them. Where we go, <laughs> you don't need them. Ah, uh, we'll put that to one side. We get the handy. Is there anything else in there? There is. Okay. Ooh, we've got oh, some shit look, in there. Oh, we've yeah. got stuff for the kids too. Yeah. Oh, my kids love bubble wrap. Who? Come on, guys. You must. You must love bubble wrap, right? Everybody loves bubble wrap. We're in boxes, these, by the way, as well. Yeah. Really sturdy. Okay, so we have our premium quality inflation equipment in a handy carrying bag. Can um, I have the scissors, please? Yeah, not very heavy. It's probably because I've got the heavy regulator here. Aha, <laughs> probably. It's quite, it's quite light, and it's a nice sturdy bag. So let's get this bad lad opened. People love bubble wrap. Jackie, uh, you know what? I knew you would love bubble wrap, but you have hours uh, of fun. I'm disappointed. What? That isn't who you say it is. That's oh, Reese's mum. That's Reese's mum. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Reese's mum. Okay. Hashtag, this is a piece of quality in my hand, by the way. It's a. Yeah. Is, are you saying that it's not a regular regulator? I'm saying it's an irregular regulator. It's an irregular regulator. That is, that's uh, some piece of engineering, that is. It is. Okay. So it's just a normal screw in. Um, for us, we use like a B or C fitting, so it's. We don't always get these, us. though, which is the larger size. Um, attachment. The fit is oh, the same yeah, size, yeah, yeah, yeah. but the actual handle. Normally, the ones that we would use in Quite the UK small. and Europe a lot. Lift it up a bit because they can't it's, see. It's it's off very, the there, this the piece I'm talking about is the handle here for turning um, the 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 thread there. So you at least can get your hand around that and get yeah. a little bit more Cramp. grip on it. Yeah, because normally when it's yeah, because you don't need you. You shouldn't be using tools and things like that when you're screwing them yeah. on. Just so. when it gets a little bit of pressure behind it, and you want to release it. Yeah. Uh, that, I like that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, it has a quick release. So, I'm guessing. Have you got the scissors to unhook? There we yeah. go. Hold it up nice and high for the people because you're off cam. Right, Everybody know. loves bubble wrap. We know people love bubble wrap. Oh, I could, should put this on. We've got this on in the background. There we go. We've got the wonderful John Bowler there. Bowler. Um, John John Bowler. <laughs> so, we'll put this in to here. Um, it's a quick connect there we go that clicks into there and then that goes in the back of the machine I like so this is going to screw nice. into the tank ready for that 
So we have a, a regular cylinder. It is of the larger size, so we have it on the floor. So unfortunately, you guys can't see that. Um, um, somebody's asked there, are these available to buy now? These are, this came directly from the factory to us. So if it's not available to buy now, it will be available to buy very, very soon. They're, but I, uh, they're, they're really on the new on the market. Um, if you're in Europe, you can buy it directly through, um, through Qualitex uh, in Europe. Otherwise, uh, whoever distributes your premium balloon accessories. That was far easier. Yeah, don't switch it on yet. No. Nope. Okay, and let's go inside the bag. And we got more bubble wrap! Yay! If you've never done that before as well, tie it onto the regulator. Just make sure you don't force it. Yeah. Satisfaction. Bubble wrap. Yeah, you want to make sure that you never force those threads. They should go in very easily. And just uh, nip it up hand tight at the end. Right. Okay, looking inside of here, it's what we've come to kind of uh, expect from premium. So we have these really hard um, cardboard rolls here. Now, do not throw these away. If you have any of the, mach the premium machinery and you c that comes with these, do not throw them away. They're really good for transporting the equipment. They're there to keep everything safe because this goes over um, the outlet like that, and it means that anything come down pushing down on there it's not going to damage anything it's going to keep it nice and safe it right i know sometimes when i go in and out of a venue you know i've got the bag i've got it on my shoulder yeah because for the twin size it's the same deal i've got that on there and i know i can kind of put something else on top of the bag if i need to yes i've definitely done that and i know with our little trolley yeah. that i've actually stacked a couple of these high going out knowing that you know having a second machine on top they're sitting on the the cardboard roll rather than sitting on that uh, and depending on how bit. how much you want to do that as well because it this the top is quite um robust it's very padded on the top of there it's quite thick padding but it does come when you first open it with the cardboard inside so you can keep that to um, help and protect uh, the nozzles because obviously the nozzles is the bit that you've got to really protect like any most. piece of equipment or any of the equipment it, its downfall is normally us as the user yes absolutely you know it it, it hasn't broken because it's, it's just the nut on the end of the machine yeah, kind of, yeah. hasn't spontaneously uh, broken it's we've done something to it we've mishandled it over over abused it or just generally not looked after it um so if you're taking machines in and out of venues you know, pack them up, spend that few extra minutes to make sure you look after that machine so you can rely on it and it's there for you the next time. We've got a bag done. We've got a bag. What's in the bag? A consistent thing that uh, we often see now with premium is the foot pedals yes. and the attachment and connection. So I imagine, I can't see it for certain, we'll have to try it, but I imagine this is the same... Um, I like them bits. Yeah, non-slip on the floor. Yeah, so that's really that's good. A, I think that's been updated, right? Because I think, uh, I think the, the original, ones, ones, original right? ones had little uh, feet, feet on. Um, we, you know, it's hard for us to keep up sometimes because you, you you buy a piece of equipment and it lasts for so long. Yeah. So you know, some of the pedals that we have do have just the uh, corner dots on. I think, um, but that's got a much better grip, so it doesn't slide out the way. But that's got, the, I, I believe, the same connection mm -hmm. as the other machines. So yes. you can kind of intermix. Uh, so it certainly looks the same. Yeah, yeah we'll so have to test it out. But no, premium. Uh, yeah, they're pretty good that way. So okay, let's keep our cardboard for um, keeping things safe. We've also got extra cardboard juice for on the top and the cardboard that sometimes goes around the handle. More so, importantly, more before. <laughs> right, okay, and then. Um, Let's take the machine out of the yes. bag. Uh, anything left in there? Nope, nothing left in the bag. So on the back of there, we have a normal power lead with a UK plug on there. Depending on where you're buying them from, they have region-specific uh, power cords. And a cardboard box, which is, is over the pressure gauge. Yeah. So again, it's protecting the pressure gauge. So this is the secondary there. pressure gauge. So your tank is going to be uh, dropped down to a, a more manageable pressure for the hose to bring it to the machine. But then the machine will then be able to adjust that pressure so it's um, at a, a set pressure for you to work with, of which you will be able to adjust. Can you do me a favour? Can you switch over to that other one of us? Because I think that's going to be a better 
Um, oh yeah, because all right, give me a second. Uh, what yeah. Is, what's this shown there? If you just cut to that, so it should That's be able to go. Right, yeah. yeah. Ba, ba, ba. There we go. We've got a, there we go. Now you can see Look things better, right? You can see the desk, and you can see what we're doing on here. Okay, so um, we have our. <laughs> it's all the excitement. Gas getting, tube, getting there, new which we'll toys. plug in, in a bit. But before we plug anything in on this side, I want to get you some power. You get me some power. I'm going to talk about the attachments that we have on here. Okay, so um, let's have a look. We've got a button on here, which is our activator button. So if you don't want to use the um, the foot pedal, so if you're in a retail environment, we found that in the retail environment, having a foot pedal with a helium product um, is expensive. Um, and the reason being is, as Oopsie. you're walking past, you catch the pedal, and obviously it, it goes up, it lets off the gas, and that's money going bye-bye. For specific jobs, we would plug it in? Yes. But normally on a standard, we don't Set have... Up, ready to roll. We wouldn't have a, um, a foot pedal connected to this. We would prefer to use the, the button, the manual on there. And it's positioned right next to the latex outlet, so it means that when you... Using putting the balloon on, you can touch it with your finger and it's ready to go. Makes it really easy. It's a very easy. tactile button, that. You know, yeah. it's, you know, it's very much. It's a definite button, right? Yeah. It's a definite like button. Yeah, it's not like a little micro switch or something like that, which you're not sure. It's a definite button. You've got settings here and you're not going to make a mistake. You can play around with the settings as much as you want and you're not going to release the gas. This says something's going to happen. Yes, absolutely. Like. Um, and then this side is the auto foil outlet, right? So this automatically stops um, when the foil's inflated to the correct pressure. So um, that one's pressed, it works on a push down. What's great with that though, it's all in one unit again. You know, you've got the fact that, you know, for us, a, a consistent seller yeah. would be mixing products between foil, um, bubble, and latex yes so the ability to be able to do that within one machine is it's fantastic it's great and also as well as that if you want to come down the size this is for 11 inch 16 inch larger balloons um, we have a little adapter which we are used to now which takes it down to five inch balloons and even um, smaller balloons 260s and the like because this machine can also be used with compressed uh, with any compressed gas, yeah. right? But also, we've so done gumballs in the past where you use 260Qs. Um, now, one of the things that we were kind of reading up on this machine prior to today, because we did get to have a play with it at Spring Fair, and one of the things we did at Spring Fair was to inflate bubbles, and we used the uh, the manual tip inflator yes. for that, which can be added over onto this outlet connection here. So this is great because this can be on or left out the way, but also you can hook up other equipment at a later date as well. So you've got yeah. a lot of flexibility, Absolutely. all running from that one tank. So I know a lot of small businesses just use one live tank. There, it's ready to go, and, and then I mean, it's I just that. that just that little tilt valve for inflating your bubbles. Now we did bubbles on that, yeah. but the thing that we looked at afterwards, and we don't know if this is correct or not, is, and we weren't aware of this, was this foot pedal has Be two. Because we're automatically, with this mach this style of machine, mm -hmm. not gonna use a foot pedal. We're automatically gonna be using this. So we didn't really think about the connection points. Now this, like the split second, um, the twin sizer, sorry, yeah. the premium twin sizer, it has two pedal connections, one on the left, one on the right. Now, one is for the manual operation of the machine, and the other one is for Time. uh, a timed version. Yeah. And so this machine has... No timer. And timer. And timer. So we're thinking that if we plug it into the timer side... We've it will suddenly then, got a manual inflator. We've got, yeah, we've got, we've got the timed version or the manual version. Yes. Which means that will be really, really helpful for bubbles. It will also be really good as well. As so, if anybody that's used, um, anybody that's used uh, digital equipment with helium tanks, when it gets down towards the little, uh, once it gets down to the bottom half of the tank, the pressure or the bottom third of the tank, the pressure drops off a little bit. So you generally have to play with your settings a little bit. However, if you've got a non-timer function connected to your pedal, you just need to top it up a little bit. But also, so quite often we might do, I don't know, let's say a three-foot helium. Yes. Or we might put some air in it first. So we'll do normally with the micro air, we'll do some inflation of air with that, and then we'll do helium to finish it back off again. But we'd always do manual helium. But 
when we do that on a normal digital machine, you have to set your setting kind of high and then do it Press in it kind of doses. And again. And Whereas again. manual, again... With this, you can just go for it. Yeah, I know. I mean, the fact that you have this as well, but it's just... I, I, I like the... It's more flexibility, right? It gives yeah. you more options. It's more tools in your tools. Just plug it in and find out because well, I'm interested. No. Oh, yeah. No, okay, because yeah. one of our absolute favourite parts of this machine is on the back. The gimbal. Okay. The gimbal. So, on other machines that you're um, attaching gas lines to... It's very much fixed at the 90 degrees and there's a lot of pressure on there and um, people that have had the machines know that this is the area that you may get the most failings on yeah. because there's a lot of pressure on there at that 90 degrees all the time. And it's kind of hanging off the back of the regulator so this 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 setup it's separate. We've got the input of the gas coming in yes. then the, the regulator is kind of broken out of the machine so it gives you that information and it's there for any can, service. And also it's very easy for setting the pressure. Yeah. Yeah. which we'll come to because you we, do have control of this as well yeah this we, we a, generally set the pressure ourselves and this is something that a lot of people who have digital equipment don't address no. that's our go-to thing yeah. for any digital equipment for, the, for this style of machine where you've yeah. hooked up to anything compressed specifically gas. specifically retail as well yeah we'll do this so um, but the gimbal this moves so it means that if the line comes from this side if it comes straight out if it comes from here if it comes from below it makes no difference, right? It's what you want is that you want that kind of natural flow. You really don't want to kind of force a gas line. In this state at the moment, it's pretty easy to move around. But once this is loaded with pressure, it's kind of a an immovable beast at times. And as, so. as we came from an engineering background, this is the bit that really impressed us because this takes all of the stress out of kind of the weakest link of the machine. Yet maintaining the gas pressure and not losing any of that gas yeah because which is, you know, it's, it's expensive it's doing doing two tasks exceptionally well so connect me up dumb let's pop that on there okay and then oh i need some power Get power i don't have the power so which side do you want to go for though? no timer or timer first well i think what we might do is first of all i'll switch it on and then we'll turn it around so that our friends can see but what we can do is, because we're on the gimbal, oh. we can just move that round. Oh, we need to find fun. several reasons to turn this machine <laughs> to utilize I'm sure the we gimbal will, because now it's going straight out the back. It's literally, it's going where it wants to go, which means it's taken all of the stress out of that connection. Premium, thanks. Well done, guys. That is a, that is a golden nugget. It is. Uh, Luke's, uh, Luke said there that the connection part is a genius. He tried it out at the Toy Fair. It's fantastic. And it is, it really is, it's a, a, it is pure genius. It uh, is. And one of the guys, actually, who works for Pioneer Europe, his background is um, with BOC is gas. With BOC, the, uh, the very knowledgeable Mark Drury, and he was particularly uh, taken by that as well. And he has a, a, a passion for, for gas and its connections, yeah. I think, as well. So he also was taken by that. So I, I think it's just, it really is. I, I think it's great. I know we keep on going on about this particular part. Because we love it. But it, it's, it's, you know, when you, you say something, it's game changing. That is a game changer in that connection. <laughs> so Dom's just switched the gas on there. And um, always a successful, <laughs> <laughs> and you can see the pressure's gone straight up onto the. I'm not saying you know talking about uh, pressure. What you know, we unbox something, we turn it on. Fifty, yeah, live. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so fine. this is live. Anything can go wrong, and uh, if you've been watching the show for a while, you it do. does, <laughs> and that's okay. It's okay. So we've got our pressure, which is good on our main tank, and that's all. You can, you know, see the, the, the amount of gas that's in your cylinder. Again, a common misconception is, you know, the pressure on this gauge here should stay and maintain at the pressure it's set to. This won't go down until we actually lose pressure in the main tank. Yeah. If you're wanting to check the capacity of your tank, look at the pressure gauge on your main tank and see where that is when it's full, and you can monitor it as you're using the gas. Go and check on here because it's, it's this not a, shouldn't this change. Is a secondary regulator. Yeah. This is bringing that the the it's low, it's, yeah, it's, it's to a, it's really low pressure, low pressure to work with something safe for us to inflate with. This shouldn't change. If it does change, it's going to adjust your sizing of the balloon as well. So this won't tell you the tank kind of fullness level so yeah. just bear that in mind so what we'll do first of all is we'll test out this side yeah we're just going to take a note there so that's what's that it's about 50 50 psi 50 psi 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to try out this side first of all. This is the foil, it's the auto foil outlet. So if we can, um, okay. your future is bright because I'm getting an Apple phone tomorrow. Right, okay. Excited so, much. I think it is. Um, the the autofoil outlet is also it's angled so it, it makes it easier for insertion into the valve um so i'm just going to take that under there guide it down gently and then when you're inflating i like to hold the foil up so that it doesn't put pressure on the valve itself right and then we inflate um you'll see then, the actual valve sometimes you'll see on the and it stopped the outside of the foil you see a straight line yeah. and that's the valve on the inside and you can see there it doesn't matter I've got it fully pressed down but because this has that regulator in there it stops it can't inflate the foil anymore so it stops it with the back pressure it doesn't not wasting any gas it doesn't matter how big the foil is as well yeah. it's working as you said on the back pressure so the bigger the foil the smaller the foil it makes no difference it's it's looking for the feedback of the pressure so that's great you're not overfilling it you're leaving about 25 percent of the volume of that foil that's ready to go for the expansion and contraction of that helium yeah that's perfect that's nice as well it's 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 kind of it feels a bit quite short but I think that's good. It's like stocky. Um, yep. as, uh, it feels good and solid. So this. Well, I did loads the... of foils at the spring fair with it, and it was. It just. It just seemed really natural and easy to use. It was simple, which is which is good because you know where that where, might float out from under the yeah. desk later on. Putting right? it in a retail environment, you want to make it really easy for you know if you've got staff to to make it you know as straightforward and as efficient as possible. I like that because it saves you money. You know, you're going to make your foils last longer. Yeah. You're going to look after them and you're not going to waste your own gas on which, let's face it, you know, gas prices as they are, we want to make sure that we get, you know, as much bang for our buck out of them. Absolutely. And, and not, because we charge for our gas, but if you're not taking into consideration overfill wastage, then you just throw money away. So this is great. Yes. I lost my um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and the thing is, is it also takes the pressure down to not damage the um, not damage the valve on the yeah. way in. Because I've seen so many people fill, and they'll not overfill it as such, but the but they're filling it too fast, mm -hmm. and that stretches out the valve on the inside. If you stretch it too much. It means you'll gradually lose some gas back, and that happens when the customer's got it, not when you've got it. Luke's making a good point there as well in the chat. He said the foil outlets on the top of the machine, um, so much easier for inflating foils with a strange shape. Yes. So, yeah, absolutely. It, well, it's also, um, to kind of add to what Luke's saying there as well, you've got two hands free. Yeah, because you can kind of manipulate that shape of the foil, yeah. and you can bring it in and hold it flat and hold it straight. Absolutely, because the the fingers that are holding the valve yeah. are also the fingers that push down. So the... it just kind of makes it easier. And you also haven't got another piece of equipment to kind of go, oh, put that down and then have some issues with it. So it's nice, really good, nice and straightforward, ready to go. And none of these settings affect this. Yes, no, absolutely, That's just ready it doesn't to go. matter. It doesn't matter. That's a, like kind of a mechanical feedback, and it's really good. Right, so you're going to inflate eleven inch balloon? Yeah, why not? It's on your side. Yeah. Do you want to now, keep the settings? Because <laughs> that's set at eight point eight so, seconds. Now we think that normally these machines run the inflate an eleven inch balloon at about eleven. And about, I'm thinking about one, one, second, one of the spring fair was not set to eight point eight when it first inflated eleven inch. When you get a digital machine, there is always their first kind of uh, run in thirty minutes, and it's working out what pressure you need to be set to at what time. To get something that works good for you yeah okay so i always like to say let's start low well let's try something oh, it does it rolls over okay so cool. that's nice so Absolutely. if you're at a high, high number you can roll over so i'm going to put it at one 1.0 1 1.0 so that's one second right this is time so it's 1.0 seconds this second it's timer is a counter so if you're doing a lot of work and you want to kind of keep a tally of what you've done actually i want to go on to this as well because on the counter um, sometimes what happens is you inflate a balloon and the balloon bursts and it ruins your count. Oh, it's got right? a DOM button. <laughs> yes, but it has, um, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to zero because it should probably, use, if I press zero and then I press that, the counter should go up, but because I've done it for zero seconds, no gas should come out, I think. That's a theory. It's a theory. <laughs> okay. Well, it's the lowest set, yeah, it has to cycle. <laughs> tiniest bit so it's counted it's counted. it's counted but if that balloon burst it means that you can go press it take the countdown press it again because if anyone's the used countdown. these machines before you'll you'll look and go how many you've done i've done 27 minus two and you, <laughs> that's your count 
yeah. always minus how many you yeah. made a mistake. We usually have, if anything goes like that, we put it to one side and so we can count yeah. at the end. But to be able to knock it off there is great, you especially when you're doing off. team yes. um, inflation, like we often do. You'll have cycling of people working the machine. So oh, I had one where I inflated incorrectly because I picked the wrong balloon up. Or you've had one because you've had one that's burst or whatever. Yeah, and if but, you're doing large bunches of balloons that's the right, the same number, you need that to so that's keep great. things right. Okay, so we're going to go to one second and see what that does. Nine seconds you went to. Yeah. I already put you to one. Oh, okay. There we go. That'll be why. Yeah. So balloon on. What you want to make sure you do with this is that it doesn't get trapped in any of the, the other nozzles. So you'll generally have it over the, the palm of your hand, place it on. Now, Jen, I absolutely don't know what this will do. It could be small, it could be big, I don't know. Yeah, we should have a sizer box, really. We really should, but I didn't get one. Okay. So we'll, we'll kind of guesstimate for today. The anticipation? Just in case. It is high. <laughs> okay, right. There we go. So that was okay. Yeah. It's a little bit low, it which is. means you could do a couple of things to fix this. One, we could increase the time, so the gas that's coming out the machine would, would come out for longer. Or you could increase the pressure. So within that one second of time, you could have a faster inflation. Yes. And it's personal preference. What we like to do is we, um, we normally like to bring the pressure down and run for a longer time. And the reason for that it's is that... It's not a long, long time. It's no, just it's not, a longer time. We work, at, we work at around the two second mark. And the reason for that is that we are a retail environment. We have customers walking around in the store and when it runs at fast it can be quite noisy right yeah. and it can make people jump and we want to avoid that wherever possible so we take the pressure down and the time up so we find a two it, second pace yeah it brings really the, nice, the volume down it, it, it's paced but it's not uncomfortable pace no and it's not aggressive for the noise although that wasn't particularly noisy anyway so no, it wasn't actually so that was one second i'm so going to take the pressure down and we're going to go up to two seconds is that right yeah i'm going to we're going to try that I'm just going to yeah. cycle it through. What Keith's just done there now, he's changed the pressure, but you've got to cycle the machine through first to it's... allow that gauge to settle on the accurate pressure reading. Okay? And then you'll get a truer reflection. So he changed the timer function to a much lower amount just to limit how much gas comes out. I'll turn it all the way down to nothing. There we go. And we've got it at about... So it's really easy to adjust. You pull the the, um, the valve it's at about out, turn 20. it, and you pop it back in again. So count. you've turned it down, and you're going to change this to what? About two seconds. Two seconds. Now, when if I was working in the store, I'd be happy to reuse this balloon. I don't have an issue with that. But if you're calibrating your machine, because you've got that extra stretch on it, you can warm it up and kind of reset that balloon. But when we're calibrating, we would always go back to. A fresh balloon yeah. so then we're getting a much clearer reading of the size that this machine's producing okay so I'm gonna put that balloon on so we've got the machine set to two seconds and you set it to what about 25 psi on that it's about yeah it's actually a little bit high you, you'll get a different kind of output depending on your gas cylinder because this is based on our type of gas cylinder from our manufacturer at the pressure that they set it to which is why anyone who gets one of these machines is going to go through a, a simple process like this you just set it up for the first time right and then you know your machine you've had a bit of a play with it and it works well for you and then you kind of get to know it inside out here we go it's a bit on the on the small side yeah. So all I will do is knock that up a little bit more. So that's still at two seconds we're going to run at. I'm, I'm still aiming yeah. at two seconds, right? But that was a little slow for us. But hey, if you want it that a speed, you can. All you need to do is change your timing more like to three seconds yeah. to get the size. So new balloon on, two seconds at about 30 PSI. And that's a little bit big. Yeah, but we're pretty the, close. But we're pretty close. So we'll take it down if just you a touch. Size the box. We'll yeah, we have to adjust it. What we don't like to do is have a setting that's kind of I'm going to say an uncomfortable number. One point nine is not a setting that we would like to. One because I've got OCD and there's no way that I can leave that on one point nine. I can't even have volume on an odd number. I always have. I don't know. Does anybody else do that when you put the volume on? Does it do it? Tamami, that's a very good question. Well, boys, we haven't read the instructions. Let's have a look. <laughs> Yes, it does. Yes. 
It does. So, Mommy, how insightful of you. But we're boys. We don't need instruction manuals. In the book, it certainly does have a guide for a kind of a, an approximate size for approximate PSI. But, but we still recommend that when you put it into your own environment with your own gas cylinder, this is a kind of generalized good starting point but you wanna if you if we work with professional level equipment professional level products and we want to produce professional level decor we want to be as accurate as we can for our own so what we do is we just set this up the once it takes a little bit of time to set up for the one time then once we've got it dialed in we don't need to do that anymore also find that anybody who sets their equipment up this way tends to find that they don't have issues in future because they understand the machine that little bit more. Absolutely. You understand that adjusting that pressure affects the size within the time. Or you can change your time to affect the size. It just gives you a bit more of an insight. So I, 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 I really like that and I love the placement of that button. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, like that. Uh, it's, it's dialed in approximately now. So what we'll do is we can move on because time is running away from us again. Um, like little, little things that you can do with this machine that make it very easy. One other thing, um, if for those that are still using 16 inch diamond clear with 11 inch balloons to make double bubbles, yeah, there was a time that we would do absolutely tons of these. Um, and then we moved on to using a lot more deco bubbles, but it's this, not that we this, didn't like them. It's no, just no, that we love the deco bubble. Well, the, the also as well as that, especially for our environment. Um, yeah, we do a lot of things pre, and we also our store isn't open on a Sunday. But we do a lot of Sunday events work. So Saturday collections of a deco bubble is is easy. So I've got it set to the two seconds, which is approximately. It's going to get us an eleven inch balloon, right? So I'm going to press it once. I'm going to press it a second time. And then what I do is I go to the inside balloon, like so, and press it one more time. And then that's all done. Pull down the neck. I feel the need to do some more 16 inch double Wrap it off. Tie. But you're only taking the 11 inch, yes, to Yes, tie just there, yep. the 16-inch balloon. And then we've got a 16 inch deco bubble, super easy, just with three presses on that side. And I think that's impressive. I'm thinking, where's he going to hide that under the desk? I know, I'm going to have to put it over there, but if anybody that's been in our studio before knows that our ceiling isn't the... Uh, it's not balloon friendly. It's not balloon studio. friendly. In fact, can you pass me them scissors, please, Dom? And what we'll do is, I shall let this down. Take care of it here. humanely. Now... One of the things that I want to see, Keith, is so we've got a button here. So if we plug this in, Keith, all right, okay, you're going to do. I'm going to do the timer function. So I like to see what both do. Well, let's do it not to two seconds because we don't want to waste that much helium. Let's do a small size. So, so I'm going to do. Okay. What about a five-inch balloon or something? You got a five-inch balloon? Yep. I'm going to take the point two, I think. So balloon on there, set to a timer so i'm going to press and hold this button down the foot pedal okay so that way it should stop itself but if it doesn't that's because i'm still holding it yes so i'm going to press and hold it good luck good to do this live isn't it <laughs> done oh okay so it's stopped so you don't need to kind of rush to take your your foot off the pedal it's just going to cycle whatever you set the timer to okay obviously if you press the pedal again it would then dispense the same amount that's great. Yes. So that's really good if you're doing gumballs, yeah. like if you're doing a 16 inch or deco bubble with yeah. five inch balloons inside. You <laughs> with five inch balloons inside, uh, you can do them all the same size uh, using this. He's going to rewatch that. Look how I'm getting old. I was old. like a tiger. I'm getting old, but my reactions are still there. Yeah, exactly. It's a tiger. It's the power of the new hair. Okay, so. Timer function, good to go. Right, non-timer function. Right, premium. Do, do the same thing with the five inch. <laughs> premium, don't let me down. I want to see this as manual. I want to see this as manual as well. Cause I'm not going to hold it on. Though. This is for uh, for topping up or for inflating. Think you might be balloons. doing or an organic fits. helium display or something yeah. like that. Or you might be doing organic that uses, you're doing compressed air or nitrogen because you know that it works, it works fast. So that goes into non-timer function. It's in. Yeah, I'm going to put an 11 inch balloon on. And you're going to press it and hold it because last time it only filled a five inch. Yeah, so it should should keep going. Yeah. Okay. It does. Yeah. Okay. Ah, I love that. That's brilliant. And obviously, 
that's another that function gives about you it. that extra versatility right yeah. it's more flexibility in the fact that it's got a timer function and a manual function right there on the same yeah. outlet hey <laughs> next time he's going to put it over the other side i know he is so how cool is that i like that i i was surprised so, by that actually i was surprised by that we have one what do we have deco bubble filling off that valve then because at the spring fair we always I, use I that, use that on the one, tilt valve. Which was fine. However, like any flexi valve, the deco bubble kind of sticks to it sometimes. So you've got yeah. to kind of work the material over. Yeah. Which is, it doesn't take a long time, but sometimes when you have a lot to do. Wait, this, this plastic, if this works this way, this would be give us more options, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's find out. I like this. Bless King, they look so happy. I was so happy. <laughs> uh, honestly, well, these... Got it. <laughs> Seriously, guys, I, I know we said it in the um, in the description for this that we got a new toy, but these these are the things that really make a difference in your business, right? We have equipment like so you press it, you like my, this. You be my foot, okay? We have equipment like this, and it's like having an extra member of staff for us, yeah. Um, but one that never turns up hungover or having an off day or anything like that to just work. So, so that that, by the way, is easy to put on, and I feel I can get a seal there without any problems and it's just it's like luke said with the kind of managing odd shaped foils that's just easy to work and if you're so you're going to do this like as if it was so, your foot so, pedal so right I, and obviously just so okay. the, the guys so I'm can your see foot pedal. it so, you, so you're going to press that to inflate this for me double stuffed i can't say why not this is high pressure so i can't see why but let's do this one then let's do a double bubble because we've got something there no i think i mean double stuffed as in a 16 inch inside so okay um, but we run out of time, well, so we can't do that. If it does the pressure of a deco bubble, hold that up. It'll definitely do the pressure of a. Oh yeah, absolutely. Stuff. So absolutely. If, it, if it can inflate this, you name the tune. He's an idiot. Do what you think. Do your foot control. There we go. That. And you could do the same thing as you did with the sixteen inch. Inflate your deco bubble to get the same size set. Then switch over to your 11 inch latex on the inside. And set up your timer. Yeah. Or do that. Yeah. So this works for your timer. This works for your manual. No change. I love. I absolutely love that. Premium. Well done, guys. That is absolute. <laughs> Premium, you may my say. I'm just reliving watching it on live TV right now because Keith jumped. And he's getting senior now, so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, okay. So. Right, I'll, we're keeping it premium. <laughs> premium, we're keeping it. You're not getting it back. <laughs> That's okay. like Smart Sizer and then the um, Smart Twist. What great additions to our business. Absolutely. Um, I'm looking forward to getting back because this is great. This I bad boy is going to get some action. Yeah. Uh, well done, guys. Well yeah. done. Seriously. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't catch these scissors. <laughs> right. We've ran over, but we've still got to do some announcements. We're there. We're there. We've got to do some yes, announcements. Come on, let's do this. Oh, okay. We have. Let's do this in uh, the five minutes we have. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, first of all, we're going to talk about the quiz. We are. Yeah. So we ran it. a quiz uh, a little while ago now. It was the cute corner quarantine or cute corner quiz in quarantine. That was it. Cute corner Easy quiz in quarantine. And, and what a fun quiz it was. I, I hope you had fun. We did. We we had a lot of fun. It was good fun. Um, so much so that next Wednesday we're going to be doing another quiz. Yes. This time it is the Q corner anything but balloons quiz. Because we can. So what we're going to do is we're going Everyone's to... Everyone's invited. Yeah, everyone. Any of your friends, family, anybody that wants to, t to take part, please... Spouses. <laughs> yeah, get the kids involved as well because yeah. there'll be some... Those are going to be some kids-based questions too in there, oh, so there's family-based. Some, some, some curveballs. If you want to do it as a team, you can. You know, if there's a family affair, want to join in as one, you can. Or you can do it all individually. You are all welcome. Absolutely. And we're going to have one prize at the end of that as well. It'll be a Q Corner merch um, yeah. for our top winner. But it is going to be the Anything But Balloons quiz. Um, and there will be some awkward questions. We are going to do our best to make the... 
um, the timings longer so it means that for our friends who um, can't read the English what we're going to do is um, try and get some translators in the chat or we're trying to work it out so that it's going to be more time given yeah. For the it's meant non to be speakers, so we can get some translations going on in the in the meantime. It just gives everyone a chance to answer those questions. We want as many people involved as possible. Exactly. Have fun because it's we a can fun have, quiz. It's we can have up to two thousand people. So yeah. you just um, please spread the word as far as you like to. Um, so we'll get the we'll get, get some our web there. <laughs> Not for the kids. Not for the kids. Okay, uh, Kobe. Yes, Luke is not at home. Lol. <laughs> just because he wasn't, uh, he was a top. Um, Luke won last time, so Kobe's happy that Luke's not going to be there. <laughs> and Marbaloons, thank you very much for a translation into Spanish. We're going to hopefully have Evie to translate into Portuguese. Yes, and this is us officially asking her. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see who we can get to translate in as many different languages as possible. Yes. If you are willing to translate into another language, if you could drop us a message in advance, um, that awesome. would be awesome. Thank you very much. Right. So okay. anyone available for English? That'd be great. <laughs> um, so our winners for our quiz. Okay. So um, we the have lovely, two runners up. The lovely Sue Baller. Quiz. Oh, sorry. The quiz. Sorry. I was quiz. Like, quiz. On to the other one. We're not giving this away yet. Right. For the quiz. We're not giving it away at all. Um, the runners up <laughs> on the quiz uh, are Tony from India and Richard from the UK. So it's Tony Yay. Joseph and Richard White. Congratulations. Um, please send us a message. Yes, please. Um, in, uh, the, via <laughs> either Mr. Q or via Keith and Dom. You're going to the copy. Keith and Dom, the boys of Q Corner <laughs> Facebook page. Um, so we can organise getting you some sample packs of new product from Pioneer. Cool. Uh, some and some great products new loans. products as well. Absolutely. We get them. Just bear in mind that due to um, the situation at the moment, it, might, it may take a little while to get to you, but it yes. will get to you. Um, the Also, our winner of the quiz as one and only... It's Kobe from Israel. Yay! So, Kobe, what we would like you to do is get yourself over onto the merch store. Uh, I'll switch this one off. And we'll have this one. Get yourself over onto the merch store and um, pick out a T-shirt or a mug that you will like. And if you can send us a message with it, we can organize getting one sent to you. Either a T-shirt, any of the T-shirts, or uh, any of the mugs. Well done. Yes. Thanks for participating Kobe. and thanks for winning. Yes. So um, next week, at the 10th of June, 6 p.m. UK time, is going to be the... Everything but quiz. Anything but <laughs> balloons quiz. Um, right. I'm okay. Looking I'm looking forward to that one. So now we have the table arrangement. So yes. well done, everybody that took part. We had, uh, I think it was 18 designs that came yeah. through. Um, and if you saw the video from last week... It was uh, brilliant. I like I the in four in four times speed. It's like it's really cool. It's, it's you know all that work that goes into it, mm -hmm. you know, and the pressure for you know some of these people are very accomplished people who make balloons. But to then kind of put yourself on a live show as well and, and put yourself out there in a competition, it adds more stress. And it was literally around the world, right? Absolutely. Around I know the world. we still get amazed by that. Yeah, um, it is absolutely. It was brilliant. It was it was so much fun. Um, so we're going to do it again. Yes. But we're not going to do a table arrangement. No. What are we doing this time, Dom? We're going to do a column competition. A column competition. So get your thinking hats on about a column competition that you could do. I think we're going to do this one as an hour-long competition. So you'll have a full hour yeah. for being able to do and it. And as well, I think we'll start on time. That's always a good That's idea. That's what we'll try. Well, <laughs> as long as YouTube doesn't get in the way again. <sighs> Um, can we zoom in again onto the other one as well? We can, we can, we can. Thank we can. you. Uh, so, yes, we're going to do that in... Uh, we're, watch this space, but it'll be coming up soon. But just get your thinking caps on yeah. already for... Because it's quite broad, what you can do for a yes. column. You know, there's lots of options. And, you know, air-filled, great, good, good kind of 
um, use of that. And there's lots of conversions from that to the kind of the yard art and garden displays that's going on right now as Absolutely. well. So there's some really good things that we'd like to see come from it, which will give some inspiration to others for new designs. But um, it will be coming soon. So yeah. what basically make sure that you watch this space for the upcoming rules. But now we've got to give out prize. So we've got a winner for the table arrangement contest that wins their very own premium nice. um, premium balloon accessories smart sizer. You, you had to look at the you had to look at the name again, didn't you? Uh, yeah, well, we yeah. have a problem with smart sizer, smart twist, a smart twist. The, the great machines, the but we keep twin sizer. Keep joining the names together in our head. Yes. So uh, this one is the premium balloon accessories smart, smart sizer. sizer. I'll have a quick glance again. Yeah, okay. And it's not like we don't love the machine. It's just something about the not being able to get in our stupid brain. Okay. <laughs> so, yes. um, what happened was we had the uh, the table arrangement competition. We did. And we had uh, 18 different people competing from around the world. And the standard was exceptionally high. I think everybody can admit that, right? It really was. And it was so much fun and so different because it was literally from around the world. So everybody's got different flavours. And I think possibly the best decision that we ever made was to make Sue. <laughs> to make Sue ask her very nicely. But actually, we've managed to dodge a bullet there because, oh my goodness. So Sue Bowler was our like chief it. in charge judge. She was awesome. She set the rules for the competition and handled all the judging for the competition as well. And we have to say a huge, huge Thank you um, to Sue Bowler. Although we kind of, it is, a, it is a competition and we do have a winner, everybody did fantastic. There's no argument on that one. And sometimes you're kind of just looking over a few points. It's not yeah. like, oh, one's awesome and one's... Uh, it's and, not. And we also, as well, as it's, it makes it even harder looking at a picture to judge, right? Which is a different thing because normally is. We get to look at it, yeah. walk around it, yeah. and really get to kind of feel the energy from it. So it's, it is a bit harder. So, you know, thank you, Sue, because we do really, we really appreciate, do appreciate it. it. And, uh, thank you, it's Sue. a hard task anyway, uh, but to do it in the in the manner we've had to do it is even harder. For so. those that don't know at the moment as well, John Bowler said it was really hard, but actually it's Sue on John's account at the moment as well. So, <laughs> um, so excellent. So um, thank you, Sue. So um, what Sue did was she, first of all, had to narrow it down to her top six. Okay. I mean, that's so, hard. Yeah, it was, that was hard <laughs> We've enough. We've got 18 winners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we would like to have 18 winners. In fact, you know, technically we have had 18 winners. But we, she had to narrow it down to her top six, yep. first of all, before picking a winner. So we'd like to introduce you to Sue's top six. Um, the first one is this lovely design. And that is from Angie in Hong Kong. Um, so this was the woven design, right? And there's LED lighting that runs through it and fantasy flowers. It is beautiful. I also noticed as well, on lots of the photos that were taken, some very good thought taken to the photograph yes. of it as well. Yeah, the background. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, you know, I think there's some, um, yeah. And good then, point is there. So number two, uh, in the top six was... This one, which is the unicorn. Now, this is Vitalik um, from the Ukraine. I just love watching this and seeing the names come across. And where they're from. And where they're from. <laughs> so, uh, this, this technique here for the arms and legs, we've got the distortion. But I'm loving the fact that the view is a different colour. He's used a different colour to get the pastel tone as well. on the kind of, And it's kind of faded look to it as well because of the way it sits. Love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lovely little touches. Okay, again, in our top six, we have um, Maureen from Indonesia with her ice cream piece. Um, cool. Got to get the sprinkles. <laughs> it's lovely as well. And there's flavours of uh, the kawaii. Is it kawaii? I think so, That's yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. By yeah, uh, Reese's mum. Right, yeah, with stuff, Reese's yeah. mum did yeah. some of that on the Q. Hashtag thanks, Reese. <laughs> on the Q Corner Convention. Um, uh, number four, uh, we have ah from Thailand. It's a little prickly. It is. It's a counterpart <laughs> from well, it says Indonesia, but that's definitely Thailand. That would be my mistake. Yes, my apologies. I know he's from Thailand. He's he, 
um, actually competes quite often um, and really appreciate the support on that. So well done. That llama design is super cute. It and is. I think it's really it's a it's a really sellable yeah. um, deliverable. Love piece the use of well. the agates in the bottom there as well. Add that little bit of extra depth of colour there. Well really. we love the use of agates and um, Exactly. In total. Right, number five. This one you can't go wrong with. It's Jeff Wong from Hong Kong. Now, I love the use of the bubble there as well. Yes, as a base. Mm. Yeah, because he's left it partially inflated and um, flattened it out to make it as a base. So it's a very interesting use of the of the yeah. bubble. Very interesting I use like of that. balloons. We like that very much. Pretty cool. We and like them all, but our just those last one of number s of our top six or Sue's top six. Is Larissa from Belarus. I think there's some extra points there just for the uh, background uh, decor artwork. Absolutely. I was the, wondering uh, if it was done with wire and 260 cues, but apparently it's just on the wall. She'd get an extra point if she'd done that. Yeah, I think so as well. <laughs> but but, no, and they're that. all different flavours, right? And saying, totally. uh, Sue's saying there, all the designs were amazing. And truly, all the designs were amazing. And we would love to be able to give prizes out to absolutely everybody. But premium However, said no. We can't be because we have one of these, one of these premium um, smart sizes to well give done. away. Well done. I know. And that is to our winner. So can we have a drum roll? I've got my finger on the button. Please. So we're going to give away. So this is... Uh, the winner. It is. Courtesy of Premium Balloon Accessories, who've been very generous. Very generous indeed. Are we ready? Oh, here are we you, go. Are you doing a three, two, one, then go? Or are you going to do a three, two, one... And do it on the one. No, like, we're going to do three, two, one, and go like go as in we do it on not the one. Go. Two, okay. No, three, two, one. Three, two, one. And go. Then go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Gotta get these things right. Okay. Here we go, guys. Three. <laughs> your winner of the 2020 Hugh Corner this Table Arrangement three, two, Competition. One. Then, yeah. And then Sue Bola, our chief judge. Thank you very much. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. It's yes! Angie from Hong Kong. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. Yes. What you need to do is send us some details. And what we can do is we can organise with Premium to get that shipped to you. And again... They are so like, brand new. They will get shipped for you directly from yeah, the... As soon as it's ready to go. But again, please allow that extra bit of transit time as well because everyone's working so hard. Logistics are kind of pushed to the max. So it'll come out as soon as we can physically get it out to you. Uh, but just allow that little bit of extra time. But we'll get uh, in contact there and get that sorted out for you. But well done. And thank you for everybody for joining in. Absolutely. Get out of there for the moment because they can't see half of us because of Angie's name. Oh. Oh, Angie, there, you're in there, the there. way. There we, go. there we go. So thank <laughs> you to everybody, and we do mean everybody, for taking part. Joining in, watching, participating, commenting, our wonderful translators, our wonderful admin assistants there in the chat. We couldn't do it without you. Um, and especially on this particular one, thank you, Premium Balloon Accessories, and the wonderful Sue as well. Because We couldn't do it without her, the whole team. Teamwork we, makes that dream We would work. have struggled. We really would. So, yes. so get ready for a, um, a column competition. Get your thinking hats on. Um, get your we'll general is... trivia prepared. Get your team pulled in for next week. Yes, yeah, so we want some cool team names. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you need some cool team names. And remember, you can change the emoji to whatever yeah. you want it to. So that, Don't um, have to stick with the one it gives you. What's going what's gonna to best represent you guys? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go for now. We you are. guys stay safe. All right, and um, we shall see you next week. Bye-bye for now. Take care.